Hi and welcome back to Bloxy. Today we're going to take a look at how to create and stylize custom post types using the Meta Box plugin. CPTs are a great way to separate different kinds of content from your main blog posts and stylize them differently. A good use case for this would be if you're looking to start a recipes website. Custom post types is a great way to further customize and organize content on your WordPress website. There are many plugins that can achieve this task on the WordPress repository, but for this tutorial, we've chosen to go with Metabox. But feel free to analyze your needs and take every option into consideration. Let's get rocking. Here we've already installed and activated the Metabox plugins on our website, so we're ready to go. After installing the main Metabox and the CPT extender, you will be presented with a new option on your WordPress dashboard. Navigate to the Post Types section and click on the New Post Type button at the top. Next, you are presented with options to choose the details for your CPT. You can choose the name, slug, description, icon, and more. You can even choose one of the predefined taxonomies to assign to the new post type, though due to some WordPress limitations, it is advisable to create separate taxonomies for each CPT. For this demonstration, we choose the name Recipes because we'd like to start a recipe section on our website. Start by entering the required information for our custom post type. And once we're done with the details, we simply click the Publish button. And actually, we're already halfway there. It's time to import some dummy content in our CPT so we can see how the customizer can help us stylize the post type. Then we will need to add the archive page to our menu for easier navigation. And of course, don't forget to update your permalinks. Let's jump to the front end to check out what we have achieved so far. Clicking on the Recipes button in our menu takes us to the newly created archive page for our new post type, Recipes. Currently, it is inheriting the default Bloxy block settings, but we're ready to jump into the customizer to make further adjustments. As you can see, the customizer has been automatically populated with the new post type and it's ready for customization. First, we jump into the archive section to adjust our cards. Here, we'll turn off the page title and rearrange the cart elements a little bit. Looking good so far. Now, it's time to jump into the single post customization settings. Bloxy's customizer is super powerful, so you can easily click on one of the recipes to get to that page, letting you see your changes in real time. Notice that we also have the single page variant for our custom post type. Jumping in, we get the same familiar controls that we get for our single post pages. For this one, we'll adjust the title hero section. Give the posts a sidebar to present additional information and enable some elements such as the share box and related recipes. Pretty good, pretty good. And yep, we're done with the customizer. Go back to our front end and check out what we have achieved. We can see that our recipes archive page has the settings that we have applied earlier. And sure enough, our single recipe pages have the settings that we have changed a little bit earlier. And before we close out, one important tidbit of information is that CPTs also support our extension system, such as the post types extra extension, which lets you add filtering options, the reading progress bar and custom field support for these CPTs. And that's a wrap. A super simple demo because we have Bloxy that does half of the work itself. And you can get up to speed in no time by using Metabox and Bloxy. As usual, if you have any suggestions, a question, or you simply want to share something, feel free to drop by creativethemes.com. We'll be more than happy to guide you through. Until next time, take care.